with Piers this morning. Look, she looks remarkably fresh considering Susanna Reid has stayed awake to talk to us about her new show, which is investigating women on death row. Uh, also, we'll be finding out if Susanna, so, you know, you're well qualified to give Ramveer advice. What do you make so far? What's your top tip for her? Enjoy every single moment of it because it is over in a flash. Frankly, she needs no advice from me. She is a superb dancer. She is doing incredible, intelligent, feisty and above all patient. Well, she'd have to be very patient, <laughs> wouldn't she, working with Piers Morgan? Um, <laughs> only, the one, only the one kiss, Susanna, and you were kind of forced into it. I, I feel it. Lots of people are seeing him differently, aren't they? Because, you know, pre reversal and a massive wind-up, and now he's all of those things still, but also he is holding them to account in a way that, you know, a lot of people think other uh, outlets aren't doing. So, um, yes, he's still annoying, but he's annoying and he's doing a really good job. Um, as pre-COVID, of course, and an utterly chilling experience. I was on death row meeting uh, a notorious killer, Dali Routier. Now, um, she was 26 years old back in 1996. And um, the story as she tells it is that one night she woke up with her wounded five-year-old child pressing on her shoulder. She wakes up at home to see an absolutely bloodied scene. Her six-year-old son has been brutally murdered. Her five-year-old dies shortly afterwards when he's taken to hospital. She is slashed across the throat. And she says an intruder burst into their home just outside uh, Dallas and murdered the two children and tried to kill her. Now, the police said there was no intruder. Absolute nonsense story. She murdered her two tiny children and then slashed her own throat in order to stage a crime scene. And a jury didn't take long to believe the prosecution case and they convicted her and she was sentenced to the death penalty, lethal injection. Now she has spent almost half her life on death row. She hasn't yet received an execution date and most people, the average on death row is you spend 10 years between a quarter of a century wow. on death row because the case is just embroiled in appeal after appeal. And I sat down in front of her, I mean, it was it gives me the chills even now we are the same age um we are separated just by bulletproof glass uh, we are both the mothers of three boys oh. and yet she is there accused of the most gruesome crime mm. convicted and sentenced to death and she says it's all a terrible mistake she has been uh, a miscarriage of justice victim and her surviving son, who is now 25 years old, he was only a baby at the time of the murders, has been robbed of his mother. Mm -hmm. So was I sitting in front of a, a grieving mother or was I sitting in front of a child well, murderer? Yeah, we and can this see, is what we... the documentary will let you decide. Yeah, we... It's the irony of what she was saying because, you know, she was talking about, I mean, what little pleasure can there be on death row? And frankly, people would think that there shouldn't be any. And then she talks about the fact that, you know, if she is a mother who is the victim of a miscarriage of justice, the only things that she has to nurture are the plants in the prison garden at Mountain View Prison in Texas. Um, but, you know, the irony of I enjoy watching things grow, I enjoy looking after things, I enjoy nourishing things and seeing them, you know, develop. Well, for goodness sake, if she murdered her six-year-old and her five-year-old son, that was her role as a mother she to nourish. Down? She says she is not a killer. She is not responsible for the murder of her two little boys. And that if she is executed, there will be innocent blood on the hands yes. of those who give her the lethal injection. Susanna, she is adamant. Sorry, Susanna. Um, by the production team, yes. Um, it is a very emotional experience, isn't it? Yeah. And when she describes the scene of, of those two little boys and their bodies, it is such a horrific image. And she was in tears. Now, 
The viewers might think they're crocodile tears and they might not believe her. I was so moved by what she was saying because whether she is guilty or she is innocent, those two boys lost their lives that night. And that is... A very happy 50th birthday, which coincides with the launch of your documentary on Thursday as well. So happy birthday.